Yo, what's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. Today is February 20th, 2018. It's a beautiful day up here in New York. We are in the Binghamton area. This is actually the first time that I'm going to fish around the Binghamton area. And boys and girls, today is like a very pleasant day for winter. It is a 50 degrees minimum, 60 degrees maximum. And as you guys can see, right behind here, we got a frozen pond. Now, the plan for today is to do some ice fishing, right? This is actually a private pond here in the Binghamton area. But my friend Tim Galati was able to get permission for us to fish over here. So I would like to emphasize first and foremost, it is private, but we got permission. We went through all the legal sources to make sure that we can be on this private land, okay? It should be loaded with fish, according to Tim. Tim, but the thing is, we don't know if the ice is safe, you know? Now, according to the books, three, four inches of ice is usually enough. We had heavy rain yesterday. And like I said, today is 50 to 60. We better have at least five inches of ice for me to be going there, you know? So I'm gonna get together with my friend Tim and first aid fishing. We are going to drill a hole, do a little test, see how safe this ice really is before getting on it. If it is safe, we gotta get some ice fishing done, hopefully get some uh, amazing fish out of this place, maybe do a catch and cook later. We will see, you know? So first, let's go test the ice. Tim Galati is gonna be our guy for the day. You're using short sleeves, man. It's, it's gonna be 60 degrees. <laughs> Yo, bro, it's still a little bit windy though, is it? Yeah, yeah, man, this is savage right here. So we gotta do a, a little bit of testing. We gotta drill a hole now. For today's conditions, what do you think? It should be at least four inches for us to get on? Maybe five? I'm guessing that's gonna be eight to 10 inches. For real, even even though it's melting? Yeah. Okay, okay. I could be wrong, but I mean, if, if it's less than four, we're not going out. Either. Right on, and you guys can see Tim has got his ice picks on his neck, you know what I'm saying? Always the safety, all right? Especially if kids are watching this, please. Right, man? Before going on the ice? Yeah, these are also floating bibs. Oh, these are also floating bibs, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man, gotta be ready. Good stuff. Let's go test it. All right. It is the moment of the truth. How's it feel? Well, the borders is always sketchy. Ugh. I don't like that noise you made. <laughs> are you kidding me? That looks extremely sketchy. We will wait until Tim does a little. Oh, yeah, watch <coughs> out! There's a hole right in the right there. Test. Well, How? Super thick. Super thick? Yeah. Super thick. Super thick. Eight inches. Eight inches. Eight inches. We're good to go, man. We don't even need to drill a hole because apparently someone drilled a hole over there already. Tim says eight inches, so I mean, let's do this. I just want to double check, confirm, you know. So let's see here. He said super. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, 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 this, don't, don't worry about it, we're good, we're good. How many holes are we going to drill first? Or are you going to use the flasher first to kind of see if there's anything down there? I don't know, I'm just goofing around. Gotcha. So you're going to put the flasher in first? Sure. Hummingbird, huh? Yeah. Dude, that is legit! Yeah, man, I never use flashers to fish, you know? We got 10 feet right here. 10 feet? Yeah. Wow, 10 feet over for this little pond? Over there is 15 or 16. So 15, 10. Yeah, so I guess let's just drill a few holes around and uh, yeah, and uh, let's get the fishing, all right? Dude, that is thick, my man. Mm -hmm. I like it thick. I like holes when, you know, yeah, good. Fish on. 
Ya, son, bluegill. <laughs> Finally, I caught a fish. First fish of the day, folks. Check that out. It's a mighty bluegill, huh? Let me tell you something. Ice fishing session. I don't care what it is. And this is this is a nice chunky bluegill too. Look at that. Pretty colorless, but it's a nice, nice bluegill, you know. Let me tell you, this is not a bad bluegill at all. This is like this is like nice eating size bluegill right over here in the range of six inches. But uh, Tim told me there are a few A9 inches in the spawn. So for now, you know, six inches, you can just go back. It's about 10 to 15 feet here where we are fishing. So even though the spawn is small, I mean, it is pretty deep, you know. Hopefully we will land some other species. I wouldn't mind catching a few more of these. So we will see how it goes. Yay! Finally, man. Finally, huh? You'll be marking a lot of them, right? I've marked at least 40. Wow, dude. Yeah, well, yeah no yeah. joke. Yeah, dude, finally, you know, man, it's bound to happen, Woo! right? Yeah. Invite. All right, all right. One. Good stuff, man. Now we just need, uh, you know, the other stuff to show up. How does it feel? You think it's something different than a bluegill? Yeah, dude, Tim, Tim's killing it. Three, three, one, zero. Hell yeah, wow, dude. Yeah, this is a nice perch, dude. Chubby, man. Fat, fat, really nice, dude. Good stuff. Yeah, look, oh, fat, fat, dude. Wow, this is the perch hole right here, dude. Yeah, man, how does it show on the flasher? Like, does it show actually coming up and stuff? You can see him right there. There's a fish right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right on, right on. I see it. I see it. Yeah. Damn, son. Two fat perch right here that hopefully we will do a catch and cook. Fishing has been pretty slow for you, too, huh? Yeah, man. But Tim? Tim is killing it here, dude. Dude, there's a fat perch right here. Yo, that's crazy. That's the perch hole right here. I missed a bunch of them so far. Yeah, flasher. The flasher's looking very good too, man. There's some fish right on top of me right now. They're finicky, man. Oh, he took it. I, he took it, dude. Dog the bass. That's what. That's what's going on. Look at that. <laughs> Yay! Little largey. I mean, by no means like a super big one, right? But yeah, man, not bad, not bad, dude. I'm about to drill myself a hole around here now. Look at this fish bonanza right here. Look how many species he caught here. Tim's found the golden hole of the day. So you are officially the hole master, <laughs> masturbator. All right, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm about to dig a hole right here now. Oh, got him. Finally got him. Son, he came up. What is this? This is not a bluegill. Is this a pumpkin seed? I think there's a little, uh, maybe a pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid. Yeah, that's not bad. Finally something came up, yeah? Oh, good stuff. Uh, there we go, one guys. Second fish of the day. Look at that, huh? It's a beautiful specimen that we got right here. I believe this is a pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid. Tim has been on fire today, let me tell you that. For me, it's been a little bit slow for first aid fishing. It's been a little bit slow. Anyways, let me release this fish first. But I just wanted to tell you guys, we each got our own little footage here for this video today, you know? So even though I'm not catching a lot of fish in this video, make sure you go check out their videos because there's gonna be some more exciting things there i've been trying to catch a yellow perch here haven't really accomplished that yet but we'll see what happens ah so guys we've been fishing here the whole morning at this unnamed pond in binghamton like i said this is, like i mentioned before 
This is like a private property, but good thing here actually got permission for us to fish over here. It was a tough day on the water for me, you know? I mean, uh, we drew a bunch of holes in different places here, different depths around the pond, and uh, I wasn't really able to find the fish, you know? I ended up catching just one bluegill, the Lepomis macrocerus, and then one hybrid between a bluegill and a pumpkin seed. I believe it was a hybrid and not a full pumpkin seed. But the thing is, you know, good old Tim Galati here, let me tell you something, man. He found the golden spot, huh? So how about you give us here a few hints and tips here, buddy? Like, when you come to a place like this to do ice fishing, what exactly, like, how exactly do you find these places? I mean, you got a nice haul of fish today, man. How do you find them? Yeah. Um, word of mouth. Word of mouth, okay. And by trying out new places, just... Uh huh. Um, stab in the dark. Gotcha. So when you come here to a place like this, first time ice fishing, how how you just drew holes everywhere and just you just try all spots with a flasher? Yeah, flasher's critical. Um, gotcha. I got three fish on the flasher right now. Uh huh. Uh, you want to find the the places where uh, depth changes and their structure? Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. And using the flasher, it helps a lot with that. Gotcha. And let me tell you guys, I'm just going to show you quickly here the haul from Tim Galati today. He's going to post a video on his channel um, one of these days, only God knows when. But look at this. Check this out. We got here some uh, bluegill, a bunch of yellow perch. Man, look how fat this yellow perch right here is, you know. Got a pumpkin seed and a few hybrids, you know. We're probably gonna do one catch and cook video. I don't know exactly when on or on whose channel. I'm here with Tim Galati. Make sure you're checking out. We got Mike Potochne all the way, <laughs> all the way over there. Look at the dude there. He's there by himself. You know, a tough day for him as well. But I tell you what, he caught his first ever fish from the ice today, you know. So, I mean, this is what fishing is all about. You know, you come to new spots, you explore, you fish, and sometimes you, you have one? Ooh, he had one, man. And sometimes you catch him, you know, sometimes you don't. Today, Tim was definitely the champ over here. Look at that. Ooh, you know, there's a nice haul of pan fish and perch, you know. All of these species are usually on the bottom. Uh-huh. Crappies are usually uh, suspended. suspended. Right yeah. on. Yeah, man, but this is it pretty much for today. We're going to fish a little bit more over here. And then afternoon, we're going to get something to eat. And afternoon, we're going to change the spots, go somewhere else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, we're going to be doing plenty of more fishing up here in New York. More videos to come. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Tight lines. I'll see you guys next time. Are you kidding me? What's gonna put the shoes back on? You're gonna put your pants back on, dude. Not, dude. This is the most stupid challenge I ever heard about. What can what catch a fish what a challenge? Put your pants back on, dude. No way, bro. For real, dude. Yo, you're gonna freeze out here, dude. It's too warm out. Dude, you're half wet, short sleeves, no pants trying to catch a fish, dude.